Today is January 29th. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 21. Then they said to Paul, You see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed, and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach all the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or live according to our customs. What shall we do? They will certainly hear that you have come, so do what we tell you. There are four men with us who have made a vow. Take these men, join in their purification rites, and pay their expenses so that they can have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know there is no truth in these reports about you, but that you yourself are living in obedience to the law. As for the Gentile believers, we have written to them our decision that they should abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from sexual immorality. The next day, Paul took the men and purified himself along with them. Then he went to the temple to give notice of the date when the days of purification would end and the offering would be made for each of them. This passage reminds me of the demands that are placed on us by other people. People are coming to the Apostle Paul and placing extraordinary demands on him, saying, if you want to prove yourself faithful to God, then you need to do this. You need to do that. Consider for a moment an extraordinary demand that is being placed on you today by someone else. From a family member, maybe a parent, sibling, or just the demands of parenting a child. Or maybe the demands from your job, from a boss or coworker. Can you allow yourself to feel the pressure of those demands for a moment? Bring all of that to the Lord today and express to him how you feel. How do we see the Apostle Paul respond in this moment to these demands? Well, we know from Paul's writings that he was always motivated by Christ's love, not by pleasing people, not by building up his own reputation. In other words, if he ever goes above and beyond, It's because of Christ, not because of some external demand. Listen to the passage again 
and ask yourself where Christ is in the midst of the demands that you're facing. Then they said to Paul, You see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed, and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach all the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or live according to our customs. What shall we do? They will certainly hear that you have come, so do what we tell you. There are four men with us who have made a vow. Take these men, join in their purification rites, and pay their expenses so that they can have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know there is no truth in these reports about you, but that you yourself are living in obedience to the law. As for the Gentile believers, we have written to them our decision that they should abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from sexual immorality. The next day, Paul took the men and purified himself along with them. Then he went to the temple to give notice of the date when the days of purification would end and the offering would be made for each of them. As we close our time of prayer, remember this. You have the same Holy Spirit living in you as the Apostle Paul. If you don't know how to respond to a demand that someone is placing on you, or if you're confused about a decision you need to make, remember that the Holy Spirit lives in you and guides you. Ask God to guide you by His Spirit and through His Word. And trust Him today that He will show you what to do. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
joy.